Welcome, Wolves, to the week of November 30th and our brand new episode of Walker Weekly. Let's start our week off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge your allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible in liberty and justice for all. Hi parents! Third quarter is quickly approaching and it's almost time to make your choice for whether or not your student will be attending school face-to-face -face or through distance learning for the third quarter. You need every parent to make their choice and communicate that through the Google form that can be found on our website. Teachers will also send home this form in an email. We need to hear back from you by December 11th. If we don't hear back from your family, then we'll keep you with your child in the same modality that they were for quarter two. Thank you. Hey guys, this week, Ms. Olson, Ms. Wigan, Ms. Nelson, and Ms. Kemp earn 50 paws, so they gotta go spin the wheel. This week, even more kids were able to spend their behavior books on some really cool prizes. Our students are doing a great job wearing masks, but there's a few things we need to remember. Let's take a look at the video. How to wear a face mask properly. Make sure your mask always covers your mouth, nose, and chin. Don't uncover your nose or mouth. Take off your mask to speak to someone or put the face mask around your neck or up on your forehead. Make sure the mask fits snugly against the sides of your face so germs can't escape. Try not to touch your mask, but if you do, be sure to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Wearing a face mask properly helps keep each other safe. Congratulations to everyone
everybody that won our outstandings, that they were picked from the drawing. Let's see what they won when they spun the wheel. Okay, go ahead. Wolves. The outstandings for this week are students who are especially respectful to their classmates. We are going to pull out of the bucket and see who gets to spin the wheel. Good morning Wolves. Uh, we are going to draw for our, our outstanding winners for last week. Uh, remember that teachers were looking for students that were respectful to each other and uh, classmates and other students in the building. So we're going to choose three from our lower grades and three from our upper grades. So good luck everybody. So our first winner is Isabella in Mrs. W's class. Congratulations, Isabella. Uh, our second winner is uh, Nestle in Miss Carter's class. Congratulations. And our third winner from our lower grades is Shelly in Mrs. W's class. So congratulations. Now for our upper grades. Damien in Miss Whalen's class. Congratulations. Next is Rahema in Miss Lookinland's class. Congratulations. And our last winner for this week is Jesus in Miss Marshall's class. Congratulations, winners. You guys will get to come down and spin the big wheel uh, for a prize. It's important to be responsible this week while our teachers are looking for outstanding students at completing their work. And uh, if you finish your homework, you will be added to the weekly drawing. Hi, my name is Miss Finn and I am the school reading coach. Um, this announcement is for all of our distance learning students. The middle of the year distance learning celebration is happening on Friday, December 4th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you will come and take your Dibbles reading test that day, which is required by the state to take three times per year. Um, you will also be able to trade in all of your points or your Walker cash that you've been earning from your teachers and get some cool prizes. So we have a token tower in the office. We have this book vending machine and we also have Walker Wolves t-shirts. Um, we will have winter coats available and other fun activities. So please let your teacher know what time works best for your family and we'll see you on December 4th. See you next time.